Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Anthony. Today's topic, is it too early for Christmas decorations? What are your inputs, Anthony? I mean, I think decorating two to three months is a little bit too early. I mean, honestly, a month is still a bit too early. But we'll talk more about that after news. Yesterday, human remains were found in the same area as personal belongings of Gabby Pietis, fiance Brian Laundry. What happens to be partial human remains have been found in Florida's Colton Reserve in a location that had been submerged, according to senior law enforcement official. There is no confirmation that the remains are actually laundry. Tim's Pumpkin Patch will be hosting the annual Friday, Fright Nights from 4 to 10 p.m. on all of the remaining Fridays in October. They'll have band beginning at 7 p.m. for free, and it only costs $5 to do both the wagon rides and corn maze, which both start at dusk. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The ESMPTO Roundtable is collecting clean and gently used winter apparel. For a district-wide winter exchange, there is a blue bin in the front lobby for all items to be dropped off in the winter wear exchange. We'll take you in place in the East Syracuse Manoa Elementary School cafeteria on November 3rd from 3 to 6 p.m. All district families are welcome to come and pick out any items their family needs, free of charge. If you have any questions, please see Miss Recor in the welcome booth. There will be a meeting today at 325 in the small gym for anyone interested in trying out for JV or varsity boys basketball. You need to register and be approved on family ID and fill out the sign up from the form to try out. If you have any questions, see Coach Kilpatrick. Same location, same sport, same time, Girls basketball meet in small gym at 325 today as well. Members of the Fall Play Stories from Radio Land, please check the Spartan Studies classroom for rehearsal times and contact information for Mr. and Mrs. Fulner. Today we'll be rehearsing Father Knows Best from 410 to 530 in G5. Tomorrow we're rehearsing My Favorite Husband from 330 to 5 in G5. Okay. So I think it's ridiculous to have Christmas decorations before Halloween. I mean, it's not even Halloween yet. Well, what's wrong with Halloween and Christmas? They're just like, they're two different things. You can't go from, ooh, spooky ghost and spiders to hot cocoa snuggled up watching Home Alone at 2 in the morning. I mean, could it be possible that Christmas is more popular than Halloween? Oh, no, you didn't just say that. Halloween is about candy and dressing up who you want to be, getting with your friends, hanging out, apple I'm bobbing. I mean, 180 million Americans celebrate Halloween, and according to Google, more than 2 billion people celebrate Christmas in the world. Just to show you, it's more practical to put Halloween decorations out early than keep some cobwebs up. Um, you know, let's just go to weather. with a high of 74 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. Tomorrow will be cooler with showers and a high of 54 degrees and a low of 40. On Saturday, there will be spotty showers with a high of 52 and a low of 41 degrees. Hello, we are back still debating about those decorations. What is that supposed to mean? It's already been proven that more people celebrate Christmas than throwing just, can just throwing candy into bags. All right, we're just going to go to sports now.
The girls field hockey team beat Homer 2-1 to advance in the second round of sectionals. Jenna Orlando and Riley Murphy led the team with one goal each, and Corey Lesko had an assist. The, girl, the boys volleyball team beat Central Square 3-0 in the fourth win in a row. Aiden Betts led the team with 11 kills. Junior Jacob Sheen added an impressive 15 assists along with four digs. Jake Franklin contributed with 28 assists along with six kills. The Houston Astros and the Atlantic Braves are both win away from going to the World Series. The Houston Astros beat the Boston Red Sox 9-1 and the Atlantic Braves beat the Los Angeles Dodgers 9-2. The New York Knicks defeated the Boston Celtics in a double overtime, 138-134 to in their season opener. Last year, most improved player Julie Randle led the team with 35 and guard Evan Fulner played amazing and is due to the Knicks having 32 points. The Denver Broncos played the Cleveland Browns tonight at 8:20. Brown quarterback Baker Mayfield will not be at, at will be out for the game. The football team has a, their senior night playing at home against Auburn at 6:30. I'm Leah Ram with your sports. So from Anthony and I, everyone else, and morning show. Have a great day.